welcome back to my home office guys we're filming another video in here today do you guys like my pikachu lamp kurt and i found him at gamestop yesterday and we are freaking in love like he's our new child <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Ochiba Wolf Collection, or if you're new here, a very special welcome to the channel. My name is Ochi. I am a huge collector of many, many things, but I am mainly known for collecting Sailor Moon merchandise. On May 16th, 2021, we got news of a new Ichiban Kuji coming to the Sailor Moon franchise. And this one was so big, I had to pop on and do a quick video on it. This one is called the Sailor Moon Eternal Princess Collection, and it is the third Ichiban Kuji featuring Sailor Moon Eternal the movies. I have to say the movies instead of the movie because there are two movies for Sailor Moon Eternal. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to Netflix in June because the movies are coming June 3rd. Just like the name says, the items in this Ichiban Kuji are our Sailor Guardians in their princess forms. Fun fact, this is brand new artwork we have not seen before. It was made specifically for this Ichiban Kuji. As most of you guys are aware, I am a Sailor Moon merchandise blogger. I keep you guys up to date on the latest Sailor Moon news and merchandise drops. In this video, I'm going to be answering the two questions I have been getting asked. What is an Ichiban Kuji? And how do I buy these items from this Ichiban Kuji? So let's just go ahead and begin with the first question. What is an Ichiban Kuji? They are lotteries in Japan made by Bon Presto. Kuji is the Japanese word for lottery. And each Kuji consists of prizes by letter. In this particular Kuji, prizes go all the way to the letter G. And these Kujis are sold at a variety of different shops in Japan, mainly convenience stores such as Lawson, and for the Sailor Moon franchise ones, they are also sold at the Sailor Moon store in Harajuku. I actually have this instruction cardboard from one of the Ichiban Kuji displays that they have at the stores whenever there's an Ichiban Kuji going on. I have this because I have purchased some of the Sailor Moon store displays from Yahoo Japan Auctions, more on that later, but um, this explains how you can participate in an Ichiban Kuji. You'll take an exchange ticket to the cashier, pay the price of the ticket, which tickets are around 680 yen, which is about $6. And then you get to draw the actual ticket from a little box. You can buy as many tickets as you want as long as there are tickets left. Um, it's very common for a Japanese proxy to buy out an entire Kuji lot for their customers, so that's not unheard of. Each Kuji can have around 60 to 80 items depending on the Kuji. The bigger prizes will have less in the Kuji and then the smaller items, there'll be a ton of the smaller items in the Kuji, so your chances are higher of pulling a smaller item than some of the bigger prizes. So once you have your actual ticket, it's a little cardboard piece that you pull a little tab and it opens up and it reveals a prize letter. It's a gamble on which letter you'll pull pull, but every ticket is a winner. You get a prize no matter what. You're a winner, you're a winner, you're a winner, you're a winner. You're a winner. <laughs> Let's talk about the amazing prizes in this Ichiban Kuji because holy shit guys, this Kuji is probably one of my favorite Kujis uh, ever. Prizes are A through G in this one, like I stated previously. Prize A is of course the most sought out one, at least from all the comments I've been seeing so far, is the Princess Serenity figure. And they do claim she is 13 cm, which is about 5.11 inches, which is about this tall. <laughs> So it's not a very big figure, but I bet she'll still be beautiful. I can't wait to see in-person photos of her once we get closer to November when they start to put some of these on display or have the prototypes out maybe. Can't wait. Prize B says it's a clear illustration board. And I'm not quite sure what that means, if it's like an acrylic stand or what the heck could this will do because we only have the titles of the products right now we don't have the details but i love the artwork of all the princesses they look beautiful prize c is a pair of glasses which are super cute so you'll get both of those glasses most likely in a little box prize d are collection plates there are going to be 10 
total to collect and one ticket only gets you one of those plates you don't like draw one ticket and if you draw the <laughs> d prize you get all the plates it's not how it works you actually only get one plate but there will be 10 guardians to collect in their princess forms prize e are cutlery sets there'll be three types to collect each comes with a fork and a spoon and they are really cute Prize F are Claire Files. All 10 Guardians are featured, so a ticket will get you one of those. Prize G, kind of the same situation. All 10 Guardians are featured as acrylic stands that you'll be able to choose from. And the last one prize is the same Princess Serenity figure as the prize A, except this one is a different color variant. They're stating that the dress and the hair will have a pearl coat to it. I can't wait to see exactly what that will look like because right now we only get this little tiny image of it so it's really kind of hard to see the pearl that they are claiming it will have. To get the last one prize you must draw the very last ticket in the whole Ichiban Kuji lot so there's only one of those in every Kuji lot. So it's the more rare one. It's going to be a little bit harder to find than the regular A prize figure of it. They're also going to do a double chance campaign for this Ichiban Kuji and basically it's kind of like an additional lottery that folks who live in Japan can enter in. Um, the tickets that you purchase will have a little number on it and they'll be able to use that number uh, to put into a drawing online and then there will be additional prizes or just one prize. We don't know yet. They haven't stated what the double chance campaign prize or prizes are yet. So more details on that to come later, but they do state this one will have a double chance campaign this time. Can't wait to see what else they can uh, pump out for this princess collection. I'm really nervous because the double chance items are so hard to collect since there's usually a, a limited amount out there. Like I do have a double chance Sailor Moon Ichiban Kuji item and that's only a hundred of them out there and it was so expensive and so hard to get a hold of. So a little nervous to find out what it is and I really hope I don't like it or need it. The release date for this Kuji is early November 2021. They don't have a solid date yet, so we'll most likely see a solid date as we get closer to November. So now that you know all of that, you now know what an Ichiban Kuji is, how do you buy these items if you don't live in Japan? I'm going to tell you how I personally buy Ichiban Kuji items as a person living outside of Japan. I'm sure there are lots of other ways out there to explore, but this is just what um, I'm used to, what I'm familiar with, and I just wanna share this knowledge with you guys. <laughs> so since you have to be there in person to participate in an Ichiban Kuji, the next best thing that you can do is use a proxy to buy secondhand. I find this is actually better sometimes because it's not a gamble this way. You actually get to hunt for the Ichiban Kuji item of your choice that you want so you know exactly what you're getting. Instead of chancing the lottery in person, you shop for the item you want. Now you do have a better chance of finding the item you want at a better price during the time that the Ichiban Kuji is actually happening. So like right when the Ichiban Kuji comes out in November, that's when you'll want to start searching for your Ichiban Kuji items from the Princess Collection. Sellers in Japan will sell their unwanted lottery winnings on websites such as Yahoo Japan Auctions and Mercari Japan. In my experience, these places have the best prices for Ichiban Kuji items. However, you're going to have to use a proxy to use these websites, so you will have to pay a proxy fee. So for Mercari Japan, yes, Mercari actually has a Japan version, which people outside of Japan can't use, so you do have to use a proxy. There's only one proxy that I've had luck with that's actually able to buy items from Mercari Japan, and it is called Bayi. So yeah, if you want to use Mercari Japan, Bayi is a great proxy to use. I will have the link to Bayi down there in the description for you guys if you want to check them out. I personally use them, they're legit, they're good, and their website is streamlined. So for Yahoo Japan auctions, you actually have a lot more options as far as proxies go. So you can use proxies such as From Japan, Zen Market, in addition to also Bayi. Bayi can also <laughs> be used on Yahoo Japan auctions. Those are just a couple of examples of proxies that you can use. I actually have a tutorial how to use Zen Market if you're interested in maybe using Zen Market on my channel now. I'll link to it down there in the description for you guys as well if you want to click it and watch it and learn about Zen Market. It's a great tutorial and Zen Market is really easy to use. A lot of people like Zen Market. It's because their fees are pretty cheap. <laughs> 
<laughs> watch the video to find out more. You can also use your favorite social media proxies who are often just a single person ran such as GHL, II in Wonderland, and Rare Candy. Oh my gosh, there's a million of them out there, especially on Instagram. So you can definitely hit your favorite proxy on social media, see if they can help you out with some of these Ichibankuji items. Remember, it doesn't come out until November, so don't bug them until then unless you have some general questions. But yeah, there's lots of them out there. Pick your fave. If you guys want any personal recommendations from me, feel free to message me on any of my social medias. Another way to get these Ichibankuji items is through Mandarake. I know a lot of you guys are familiar with Mandarake, but if you're not, Mandarake is a huge secondhand hobby shop in Japan. They have a website where they sell and ship worldwide. And uh, what happens is people who don't want their Ichibankuji items can go to a physical Mandarake store, sell those Ichibankuji items to them, and then they will list it on their website. And then you can search and buy it from there if you want. You usually have to be pretty quick because the good stuff always sells out really fast on Mandarake because a lot of collectors use it. So it's probably not the best place to get some Ichiban Kuji items, but it's definitely an option. Also, Ichiban Kuji items could show up on eBay as well. However, in my experience, oh my gosh, is eBay the worst because I don't know why, but sellers really, really price them way up there. I mean, like the prices are really high uh, compared to like Yahoo Japan auctions, Mercari and Mandarake. So that would be probably my very last like choice of where to buy Ichiban Kuji items. But not impossible, sometimes you can find a deal, you never know. So that is what I would do if I was looking for some Ichiban Kuji items. This is all advice that I actually do. So this is what I do, guys. This is where I shop for my Ichiban Kuji items. Any of those options are fine. However, I know that's probably not the only way to get some of these Ichiban Kujis. I know some proxies even allow you to play the lottery, like chance it, and you won't know what prize you get. There are some proxies out there who will just let you buy a ticket for the whatever price that they charge. I'm sure they put a fee in there and then they'll reveal a letter price to you later. So there's also that as an option too if you want to try your luck. If you guys have any other tips or tricks or how you personally get Ichiban Kuji items that you would like to share with me or my subscribers, please, please, please let us know down there in the comments. Um, there are a ton of ways out there. I don't know them all. So yeah, share the knowledge with us all. The Moody Network is freaking amazing. We are the best. We're always helping each other out. So I appreciate you if you have anything to like help us out with on how to get Ichiban Kuji items. If you guys want personal tips and talking one-on-one -on -one with me and to be a part of a great community that helps each other out, please consider joining my Discord server, Ochi's Pack. Discord is a forum-like app that you can download for your smartphone or on desktop or both. I downloaded it on both. It's really simple and easy to use. I learned it in a day. But yeah, I have a uh, personal community there if you would like to join. It's only $5 for lifetime access. You can purchase access through my Buy Me A Coffee tipping page, which is down there in the description of this video. You can click that link for more details on how to join. We're an amazing growing pack. We're almost to 60 members. I mean, we always are helping each other out. Like if someone's going to Hot Topic, they'll be like, hey, I'm going to Hot Topic. Anybody looking for anything? And we help each other out. Like I have a little pickup section and I actually help pick up stuff too. And I make my Hot Topic runs. So it's a really neat community to be a part of if you're wanting to join. We'd love to see you over there. Become fam. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this sheds some helpful light on what Ichiban Kujis are and how to actually buy the items. I know a lot of you guys want that Princess Serenity figure. I want that Princess Serenity figure and I'm kind of uh, on the fence. Do I want the type A or do I want the last one prize or do I want both? Do I want to be insane and, and get both? Like, I don't know. I don't know what kind of uh, collector I want to be <laughs> yet. I guess uh, whenever they come out with uh, better photos of the last one prize, that's what I'll make up my mind. Let me know down there in the comments if you guys want anything from this Ichiban Kuji and what you're after. And also let me know if this video helped you out. I'm really wanting to know what kind of videos you guys want to see and if these videos are helpful or if they're not or if they're just boring. I don't know. <laughs> let me know down there in the comments. That's what I'm trying to say. Before you guys leave, please make sure you hit that like button for me. That really helps my channel grow. If you're new here or you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. 
there's no excuse because it's free. All it is is clicking a button and that also helps my channel. So consider subscribing if you haven't yet. Watch another video on my channel if you have the time. I got lots of great videos you may have missed and stay amazing. I will see you guys in the next video coming real soon.